Hi, my name is Judge Brenda Harbin Forte. I'm a judge on the Alameda County Superior Court sitting out in Hayward. My career path uh, is probably unusual in some respects. Uh, first of all, I grew up in Meridian, Mississippi, uh, from the Deep South. I, interestingly, I grew up in poverty. Uh, I had a large family. When my family relocated to, um, to California when I was 16. Uh, at the time we relocated to California, I brought with me a two-week-old a, a two son. So I became a, a parent, a teen parent, when I was age 16. Meridian Mississippi School District decided they'd finally get around to integrating all of the schools. So we all had to come to class, we all had to sit together in the same class. One of our black teachers got fired for having students sit next to each other, so black and white students had to sit next to each other. And we began a boycott, and I was one of the leaders of that boycott. I met this lawyer, a man lawyer, and it's kind of like, wow, you know, he's able to use the law to bring about social change. So I said, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. I want to be a lawyer. There are benefits to being a woman in the judicial system. I was fortunate when I was presiding to the juvenile court to um, implement a program where we started treating young teen prostitutes as victims of crime rather than as criminals. We're able to ask people to look at things a different way, to educate our colleagues on issues that are important to the, uh, to the, uh, to the women in our, in our state. So we're able to do those kinds of things. And we're able to, as we get into more leadership positions, we're able to create programs. Women judges are often challenged in terms of their competency, uh, in terms of their ability to handle courtrooms. Um, I think that, uh, that there is that kind of, uh, of issue that we, still, that we still fight against. But I think that uh, particularly as we get more women in the judiciary, we are, we're seeing more equality of treatment. Think about it. Uh, the cases that are going to be transformative decisions, reproductive rights, the rights of uh, gays and lesbians, um, in the, uh, all of the members of the LGBT community, those things are being decided by courts and who's on those courts. Um, traditionally, it has been primarily a male-dominated system, uh, system that has been making those decisions. We get more women in the judiciary, irrespective of what what side of the issue they're on. They're going to be on on that. They're going to be pro some and some and some con. That's okay. Let's talk about it. Let's debate it. Let's educate each other, and let's come out of that process with the absolute best decision that we can make as a judge. I make a difference in the lives of people every day. And when I go out to decide a case, I feel that I can bring not only my own life experiences and my perspective, but a sense of the importance of having those people standing before me in the courtroom feel that they have had their day in court. I would say do not give up. Don't give up, no matter how difficult it may seem. You are looking at someone here as you watch this video. You are watching someone who grew up in abject poverty. You're watching someone who was raised in Mississippi in a system that told me in every way possible that I did not deserve to achieve and that my skin color and that my gender made me worthless and not, not, not even worthy of pursuing uh, anything other than the most menial jobs. You're looking at a teen parent who did not drop out of school and who kept going despite the obstacles that were otherwise put in my path. So what I would say is don't let any obstacles deter you. Reach for the stars and know that the world needs you not your sisters, not your brothers, not your co-workers, not your friends. The world needs you to come and bring something to the world. So come and join us. Don't give up. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself and saying it's too hard. Yes, it is hard, 
but the rewards are so much greater when you get to the end and when you continue to reach for those stars. So come on, let's reach for the stars together.